What do I want to know from you? Can I leave now? Why did the White Hills hate us? Who is the new lord of the house? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. <laughs> you guys are bad. You, I'm, I'm reading your comments right now. You guys are bad. <laughs> uh, so many. This is, this is the wrong decision. Why did I live stream this? <laughs> Who is the new lord of the house? Who is the new lord of House Forest? <laughs> Why, Ethan, of course. Oh, Ethan, Citadel, I remember Ethan. I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is mm. challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Oh, jeez. Which is rather frightening when you think about so, it. So, so Ethan, the bro, the the kid, one of the not the youngest, but the second youngest son, is sort of the one on the. Wow. That's a lot of responsibility for someone as young as him. Always the good-looking ones that are evil. Hark! Remember that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, why am I so trusting? I should not do that. Why am I so trusting? Uh, the White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his lute. That's Never right. Mind. He plays the lute while his sister sings. Let me walk around a little bit. I'm not done to... I'm not ready to leave yet. Um, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. You're still kind of favoring it, though. Tapestry. Look at the tapestry. <laughs> Mira! Asher. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, Lord Forrester. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I think I messed up a little bit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Mm. Roderick. Oh, Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Mm -hmm. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth-born son. No. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Aww. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Yeah, Asher. I remember Asher. Talia and Ethan. Talia and Ethan. Talia. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Yeah. Wow. Learn more about the foragers and the money. I think I read all of that, right? I read it all of that. It better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester and Talia. Welcome home, Garrett. 
We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yeah. I'm so sorry. She's sweet. I like her. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Uh oh. Any no. last words? Before don't. No. Past? Not this time. Not if this time. <laughs> I don't want him to haunt me. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> said he loved her. <laughs> I haven't shown anyone the sword, though. Kind of the sword I remembered. I remembered the sword. You have the Forester sword. Yes, I do. Ethan should. What about it? it? Now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. I know that voice. Now is the time to prove our strength. I know I'll that be voice. Sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. It was self defense. And he killed my Real family. The should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. Against a pig it's farmer. An argument you cannot win. A pig farmer. You have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now... This. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same. Gonna as keep, any man. I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm not gonna say anything. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the war? Oh. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for them. Oh, Garrett! So I'll go. I'm he's, like, he's like a I puppy. It seem fair, but it is what's best. Oh. Oh. He's obedient when that he remembers sense. instructions. He's obedient when he remembers it. <laughs> you have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. 
The White Hills will come looking for you. Wait, am I supposed to tell you something? I'm supposed to tell you something! I have- but, but, but- Whoa, he just teleported. Oh! That was creepy. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. <laughs> oh! Karen, I, I just want to hug you! I know, I'll see you again. Oh. Oh. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Oh. What? What is it? I think I'm supposed to tell him that, right? Cause... Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. Yeah. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. And I told someone, I'm sorry. You fulfilled your duty. Sorry. Oh, and I told you someone. Caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. He said only to tell you, and I failed. I'm sorry. I, I failed. He said tell only you. And I failed. I'm sorry. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. No. No, I didn't. You haven't told anyone else. I you? didn't. I failed. I'm sorry. This is important, Garrett. He's not going to lie at this point. It was truth. his mistake. I told the Maester. I told Maester Ortengrin. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for his ears. I know, I'm I'll sorry. The Maester. He's Thank the last you. person I would trust with this information. Whoops. <laughs> Which is why, from Whoops. this day forward, this must be our secret. Okay, okay. And soon, I may need your help. Okay, okay. I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Okay. Don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. I won't. Become I won't. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Okay. <sighs> Big burden off my chest. Huge burden. <laughs> I confessed. I wasn't gonna have him lie. He wasn't gonna lie about that. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Every single time he has that frown, Garrett has that frown, it just was like, oh, oh hugs. All the hugs for Garrett. Oh, I love him. Oh. Garrett, wait. Oh, Talia. What is this? Be safe. Okay. Thanks. You're so sweet. Ah. Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. Oh, do I get to control Ethan? <gasps> That's pretty cool! Oh, so it's just like in the book. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. And Ryan. Maybe something. Okay. I think now that we've switched characters, because I believe that's what happens in the book especially, and of course the TV show, but in TV shows you can do that more often. I think I'm going to take a break over here, take a look at some of the, some of the, some of the things you were saying. I'm really happy that they gave us the choice to confess to Lord Forrester because I, I felt so guilty and so did, so did, um, Garrett apparently. <laughs> ah. Um, so I'm glad that at least the game was able to let us confess, because um, that was really important, hopefully. 
we'll think twice before we trust the really cute doctor guy. <laughs> Um, in case you don't know, sending someone to the North or the Wall is like getting immunity from past crimes in exchange for lifetime servitude of the North Guard and no wife or kids. Oh, thank you, Thunder Noob 2. That's good to know. I didn't know that before. Um, let's see. Uh, he knows it's a transmission run. Um, Illuminati confirmed? Sir Royland Art Magi. Sir Royland is Brian George Flint Hart Glumgold from DuckTales Remax. Yes! I can see that. Yes. Uh, let's see. Well, you told everyone else. Might as well told the person you were supposed to tell. Yes, yes. I was, I was, for a moment, I was like, is this, this is the Lord Forrester, right? I'm still talking to Lord Forrester. I was like, I don't want to mess up. Um, rest in peace, House Forrester. Press F to pay respects. Aw. Yeah, the last K, K thanks by the last person you would trust. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of interesting. Wait, so of your advisor and your doctor is the one that you would trust the least? Really? Your advisor and your doctor is the one you trust the least? That's interesting. Okay. Lesson K. Eh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry, you you only told the cute man about it. Cute men are perfectly trustworthy. Lesson K, you're so bad. Uh, I'm not going to hear the end of this. Not going to hear the end of this. This is going to haunt me to episode 6. Because I believe this is 6 episodes long. It's, it's an extra episode of guilt. Extra episode of guilt. You all are going to keep reminding me about this one thing that I forgot. Remember, so Repo 28, remember that, Hark? It's a secret. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Brian W. Well, at least I know who not to tell then. Thanks. Thanks, Brian W. Uh, Bradley 3000. Snow, the North Hill. The Westlands, the, the Westerlands Flower. The Reach Pike. The Iron Islands Waters. The Riverlands Storm. The Stormlands and Sand. Dorn. Ah, uh, okay. I see. All right. Storm would be an awesome last name. Yeah, like Johnny. Interesting. Thanks, Bradley. Yes, thank you, but Bradley. Gar uh, the iron bar, the iron rubber duck. Garrett, tell the maester about the message. Angel Arts fans will remember that. <laughs> oh. This is why my fiance proposed to me and not me proposed to my fiance because I probably would have like blurted out something by accident. <laughs> Uh, um, Royland is also Raj's dad on Big Bang Theory. Oh, I did not know that. It was hard to remember, but I love this universe. Confess to your uncle, not Lord Forrester. Wait, wait, wasn't that? I'm confused. Aren't isn't my uncle? Wait, I'm confused. My uncle is. I have to. I have to remind myself. My uncle is not Lord Forrester. Yes, right. Not okay. Yes. That's that's where I got it confused. I was like, I thought my uncle. No, no, my uncle is not Lord Forrester. I'm not a Forrester. That's right. My uncle is just my uncle. Okay. I'm trying to get all this figure. I'm trying to get all this straight, guys. Thank you for your patience. Um, going to the wall. I like just like joining the Grey Wardens for Gondor. You leave everything behind and everyone can join. Um, episode six: The North Grove is screwed. <laughs> yes, we will until you remember. Um, uh, Garden Wayne 82, you play as five playable characters, Hark. Oh, that's cool. So that's cool. Like, Borderlands, you get to play two. You're the most evil man. Yeah, I know. I'm the most evil man alive. I like how everyone is getting on him for making the dishonorable choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, if this is the Roman times, you would be crucified, you evil man. <sighs> right in the heart. Uncle is the Castellan. Oh, that's right! My uncle's the Castellan! Thank you! He's the Seneschal! Thank you. Now I got it. Now I got it figured out. All right, good. Lord Forrester treated Garden like a son is what they imply. What's treated Garen like a son is what they imply. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Lord, Ga so Lord Forrester treats me like a son, but he's not really my biological biological relative. And see, this is why I have you guys here. This is why this is why I live stream so you guys can help me remember all this. Remember, Hark, the North never forgets and it seldom forgives. 
Oh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna uh, we're gonna take a break, guys. About five minutes or so. Um, so you guys can take your bathroom breaks and get us. I'm gonna probably get a snack or something. Um, and uh, uh, when we come back, put down in the comments. Uh, for those of you who have never played this game or experienced this game, what your thoughts on it is so far, what your thoughts on Garrett is. I just, I feel still, Garrett has this, this pitiful puppy dog face that, you know, every time he frowns, it's just so adorable. And I just want to come into the screen and just give him a big hug and pet him and tell him everything is okay. There's just, oh, I love him. He needs to be up on my wall too. I'm putting him up on the wall as well. Ah. Okay. Uh. Um, yeah, your thoughts on Garrett and your thoughts on the game so far up to this point. Um, first things first, though, before we continue on. Check it out, guys. Hee hee hee. Yeah, I can't wait. I decided I'm not waiting anymore. Mwah! Okay. Decided I wanted to put him right underneath Mark, Mark and Ian, from uh, from one of my most recent Let's Plays. So yeah, that was quick. Hi, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Okay. Um, Angel, don't put don't put Garrett on the wall. It's a different wall. It's my wall is a good wall. Mine, my, mine is a good wall. All right. Um, let me go ahead and go through this real quick. I had to put him, guys. You don't understand. I have to put him. No, don't can't don't quit the game. I had to put him up on the wall before he does something else stupid like oh I don't know die. <laughs> he needs to get up there before before something like that happens because I don't want Garrett to die. But I'm I know when Telltale Games you never know what's gonna happen. So anyway. Um, you need a big picture of David on your wall. <laughs> sure that I could, I could. All right, let me go back and see what were some things you guys were. Art Magi, Angel Arts, crushing. Take a shot. Actually, that would probably be a pretty awesome way to do start a drinking game with me. Every time I gush over a character, take a shot. <laughs> oh. Somebody actually did start doing a, a drinking game with my Dragon Age RPG campaign, actually, but they um, they didn't come up with rules like that. So if you guys end up with an Angel Arts drinking game, I would have a kick out of seeing what sort of some of the things that you guys, <laughs> things you guys would uh, end up doing for that. Although I'm also deftly afraid. Garden, uh, Garden or Wayne 82, are you liking this game? Yes, I am. I'm, I am really enjoying this game. It's, it's the characters. The characters are really what sold me. I think the problem I was having with um, the Game of Thrones series, this TV show, is for, wasn't re for whatever reason, I wasn't getting attached to the characters all that much. I didn't find myself caring about them, with the exception of maybe a couple, but that wasn't enough to get me to really get hooked on the show. I just, five episodes long, I didn't really feel feel a connection. I didn't really feel attached to any of the characters. Whereas with this one, it just pulled me in. They did a really good job of pulling in Garrett. I'm sure Ethan's going to be a really interesting character as well, since you're pretty much a kid or a really young lord. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm curious to see how that will go on with all the other characters that I'm, that I'm doing. And, uh, Telltale, for whatever reason, just seems to have a great way of happening to make characters that I personally end up drawn to and um, for whatever reason the show never did the never show never really did that for me uh, he needs the place on the awesome wall check done um, that was from lesson K Morin Morinoskis I really like this game and will definitely play it cool I think you should and hopefully not make the same mistake that I did uh, what not to do Angel Arts shows you what not to do when you're dealing with the really cute doctor guy. Uh, Bradley3000, I think Telltale did an amazing job making it like Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, from what I know about the Game of Thrones series, it, they're, the decisions that they made in designing how this game plays out uh, with the switching of characters, I think, is genius. For those of you who knows that's a pretty much a staple component towards the storytelling of the Game of Thrones series. Um, 
Cool Punit 589. Don't put Jared on the wall. I'm not putting him on that wall. Uh, Bradley Thoreau has 3,000. I wonder why everyone thinks the wall is, a, is an unimportant. It's a giant magic wall made of ice. I would think it's still a little important. Um, Apen, Ape, uh, up, uh, Apog, not Kratos. No Kratos. I really like the game so far. I'll probably get it when it's on sale the next time. Dusky one. I don't think anyone has stated in the books or shows that's magic, that the wall is magic. Uh, Bradley 3000, the Stark's motto, Winter is Coming. The Stark's motto, Winter is Coming, but they still keep the wall extremely unmanned and easy to attack. Their own motto is a spoiler, but still don't care. Okay. It's magic in the lore built by Brandon the Builder to repel the White Walkers in the Age of the Dawn. The wall is a colossal fortification which stretches for 300 miles along the northern border of the Seven Kingdoms, defending the realm from the, wield from the wildlings who live beyond. The wall is reported to be over 700 feet tall and is made of solid ice. It was supposedly constructed using both magic and mundane means some eight millennia ago in the aftermath of the long night to defend the realm against the White Walkers, who apparently dwell in the far north, though they are now considered myths by most, from the wiki. Thank you, Bradley. That's interesting information. Um, Garden Wainer, Gardener Wayne 82 says, This Game of Thrones game is a lot better than the one that came out in 2012. I'm not surprised. Telltale is pretty solid, in my opinion. That might be a little bit of a fanboyism in there, but I'm enjoying this game thoroughly. Um, Bradley, it's 3,000 miles long and 213 meters high. I think you need magic for that, considering it's made of ice. Um, you are a lot of my knowledge. Um, hi, Fan Carmax. Brian W. George said he would only allow another game of or a game or of or made by a company who puts focus in the story, and that's Telltale. That's right up Telltale's alley. Repo 28, they didn't actually find an ancient mechanical calculator recently. Didn't they actually find an, uh, an ancient mechanical character calculator recently? Um, Tyranniac, yeah, it's great that Telltale makes original stories in established settings. Um, Bradley, he takes so long because he's thinking of which character to kill in the first sentence. Ah! Dusky one. George works on the books all the time. He likes every other. He like every other person requires regular breaks, right? Brian W. As I said earlier, I like how they keep their unique art, but at the same time reflect the style of the series. I agree. Yep, Minecraft. I'm wondering. A lot of us are wondering how the Minecraft thing is going to work. Uh, that was a fake spoiler. Oh, okay. I wasn't even realized it was a. It was even that. Okay, cool. Um. Farewell, Astra Lesef. Hopefully you'll be able to catch what happens in the YouTube channel. Um, Minecraft could have some crafting in it. That would be interesting if that was a component in the Telltale's game. Um, I would have loved a printer that printed that well. Oh, yeah, I, I, I put in a lot of, I invested a lot on a nice printer so I could actually put decent art on my wall. Um, yeah, death happens a lot in the game. Hark's Wall of Past Conquest? Past Conquest, okay, if you want to call it that. Um, Nelsonian. Hi, Nelsonian. Yes, I did start the game. I, um, I don't know how far in I am, but, uh, I got to the part where we switched to a new character. So we met, we got introduced to one character and we switched over to another one. So, um... Repo 28, Angel Arts Drinking Game. We have liver poison in three minutes. Uh, Punks, Punks Z13, I've seen GamerMD play this episode. I'm interested to see how it works out for you. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan of GamerMD. Very, very big fan of hers. Um, so I'm definitely interested in seeing what happens with her Let's Play, which is why I've been purposely staying away from her Let's Play, so I would go into this blind. I was pretty much hooked up. I'm wondering if Gamer... Actually, can you guys tell me, for those of you who watch Gamer MD, um, if, if... Well, maybe that's a spoiler, because I was going to say, tell me if, um, if she <laughs> told someone about the secret, if she told the secret or if she was able to keep the secret, but I'll find out. I'll find out when I watch her gameplay myself. You don't have to type that in. Um, I was pretty much hooked on a Game of Thrones from the get-go. Um... 
Let's see. Yeah, this is the hard part, guys, because I don't know the show very well. I don't know. I don't know what is really a spoiler or not. I have no idea. So it's hard for me. Normally, with other games where I'm familiar with the franchise, I'm able to regulate that, and I'm able to say, "Oh, that's a spoiler. Can't, can't." So I, I, I unfortunately am at a disadvantage that I can't tell just by reading a sentence whether it's actually a spoiler or not. Which is why it's really important that you all are cognizant and um, making sure that you don't post anything that would be considered a spoiler because I'm not going to be able to catch it. I'm not going to be able to protect everybody else as easily. So I'm kind of trusting you that you know what consists of a spoiler. I'm kind of trusting that you're not going to accidentally, whether it's intentional or not, doesn't matter. The spoiler is going to still be a spoiler, whether it's intentional or not. So I, I highly recommend, because of the disadvantage, because I'm not familiar, um, when in doubt, don't say anything. If there's any doubt at all, err on the side of caution. Because even if you don't necessarily are sure it's considered a spoiler, someone else might consider it a spoiler. And I'm not necessarily going to be able to catch it and know to cut it out. So... Um, Nelsonian, I feel like for a TV show, you at least need to watch 10 episodes for you to get official opinions on characters. On, on characters, I agree. I agree. The unfortunate thing is I don't have time. I don't have... If I have to watch 10 episodes of every single show that I want to try watching, I won't have time. Um, and so I might as well just not watch any of the shows at all because I don't have time. Um, so for me, the only way I can have time is if I only watch the first episode or two or three. I actually normally just give it the pilot. And I know that's all not necessarily the best way to know for sure whether you know a series. But um, there are many, many, many series out there that did grab me on the first episode, which I am following, and that's enough to keep me busy. So as long as there are enough series that draw me in after the first episode and keeps me busy, I'm happy. That's all I need. Um, sure, I can add more series to the mix, but I'm not going to have time. So that's, that's the unfortunate thing is if I, you know, if, I, if I wanted to devote more time watching those shows, I would not be able to produce anything on my YouTube channel. And personally, I would rather spend time, have time to work on my YouTube channel then watch temp 10 episodes of a series that I may or may not end up liking. So, and that's just my own personal choice. Um, Art Magi, rule one, take a shot when Angel Arts crushes on a guy. Yeah, that's that's pretty much going to send you, to, you're probably just going to be plastered by like the first five minutes. Rule two, take a shot when he reveals a secret to the maester he's not supposed to. I'm only, I don't think I'm going to do that ever again with this game. <laughs> Probably not with this game. Terrania, I look forward to seeing what's going to be like since it sounds like a strange concept. Um, Lesson K, rewatching helped, memory, helped memorize all the characters and how they related to each other too. Winter Hers, Game of Thrones is kind of a series that unfolds pretty late. I wasn't hooked, ab uh, hooked about it until the end of the first season, but then it was like old wine. And I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is like that. Um, I just... Um, realistically don't think I'll be able to commit um, commit to that because even if I do enjoy and loving it if I do love it I probably wouldn't be able to follow it for very long um, dusky one tell my tell yes yeah, telltale Minecraft sounds absurd but since it's telltale I'll give it a try uh, repo 28 before we start the second part of the stream let's go that let's let go of the past and not remind angel of the horrible terrible secret it revealed that doomed everyone. Okay, I would really appreciate it. Uh, you guys can bring it up in the ever. You you guys can bring it up once every single episode. I'll tell you what. If you guys don't bring it up again, because I don't want you, I don't want to be distracted. Like in all seriousness, I don't want to be distracted every three minutes about the mistake I made. So I'll make a deal with you guys. If you're able to keep it, keep keep the temptation, resist the temptation to remind me about my mistake every few moments for the rest of this episode, I'll let you remind me about my mistake once um, in the next episode and all the other episodes later, but once each time and, and we'll be done. 
Um, did Angel Arts volume drop a lot for everyone else? I don't know. Did it? Did it? Um, I had a video on pause. I'm still thinking of the north. Is my voice, are you guys having issues hearing me? I'm hoping not. Um, K thanks by, oh, speaking of Mar Mayar Miark. Oh, Miark. Speaking of Miark, hopefully this is not a spoiler. Oh, I told one of my gay bi with a strong male preference friends about that game, and he's planning on buying it and playing it after all after I showed him your videos. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I love that game. That actually is one of the LPs that I'm the proudest of. Okay, thanks, bye. I would only make it three episodes into Game of Thrones, and the show infuriated me. Um, Nelsonian, as a matter of fact, all of Game of Thrones seasons only have ten episodes. Okay, thanks, bye. I might give it a second shot in the future, though. Okay. Uh, Brian W. This in this day and age doesn't take a season to hook you in. It needs to be in the first couple of episodes. Dusky one. I was grabbed by the show and the book straight away. Well, that's good. I think for a lot of people, for a lot of people that that happened, that worked for them. Um, for me, I, I don't know. It just didn't. There's also side stories and comments which I find interesting as well. Thunder Noob two. I actually think Angels Arts wouldn't like Game of Thrones. Um, doesn't seem like his type of show. Brian Dyer. I can hear you fine. Uh, Repo28, Angel, can you give me a quick rundown of the show you do watch? Um, uh, ask me that question at the end. I will have a, you know, a free-for-all Q&A sessions at the end. Um, and if it's not relevant to the game, like I said, um, I'd rather that you save those for the end so that people who are on YouTube who are watching um, don't feel like what's going on? You guys are talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the game. So we can save it to the end, so if people want to skip it, they can skip it a lot easier, okay? Uh, you should do these live streams more often. I think I might do these live streams more for um, other Telltale games, because they're so short that I can realistically live them, like live stream an episode. So I might live, I might do a live stream on Sam and Max. I might do a live stream of um, Back to the Future, because I want to do all of those games. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, so let's continue, guys. I think we're gonna. No, we're not. We're not gonna quit the game. We are gonna resume, and this time we're gonna go with. We are going to go with Ethan. If something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is we're a game. Gonna keep quiet. I'm not gonna give up my hiding spot that easily. Ryan, look who we've found. Oh, Ethan, you're not even trying. Hey, Ryan. Don't worry. Hey, bro. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Do me a favor. Tell me how old... Uh, remind me how old Ethan is. Because that's important right now for me. <laughs> I have to be careful. Let me know how old he is, so I don't say something that I will regret. <laughs> I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and, and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. I don't want him to die Mr. either. Tengren said. He got sent to the wall. Oh, Miss Garrett. He was Garrett nice. is smart. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. Aww. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Everyone is telling me he's 28. I don't know. He's not 28. I think Garrett might be 28. 14, 13, 15, 11, 13. Too young. Under the legal age AA. That's all I wanted to know. That's all I needed to know. I was pretty sure of that. Pretty sure of that. So he's he is adorable. I think Ethan is adorable. I think that's perfectly that's a perfectly safe assessment to make. Who said they're worried about me? Well... So Royland, for one, he says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Milksop? Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. 
He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. I know it's not good either. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Huh. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. Aww. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Mm. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Aww. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. But you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry. But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Okay, apparently we're nice. I'm just making sure I'm taking notes. But Ethan's nice. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only yeah. it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Well, mm, eh. I like I like the scene a lot. The All siblings the together. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I just wanted to pause because I I just I I really like that scene a lot where you actually see the siblings talking to each other and just getting a sense of um the bond, the relationship that the these brothers, the brothers and sister have for each other. It's it's really cool and I think it really helps establish not only Ethan's character but all three of their characters, Talia and um and Ryan cuz I think you can learn a lot about characters right off the bat just by seeing how they interact with their family members, especially their own peers, especially um uh their own siblings. And um I, yeah, it, it, it's it's really neat. So I'm, of course, getting attached to these weird characters very quickly, and I'm hoping that they're not going to be suddenly swept up away from me. Yeah. Repo 28, you're so mean. Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding Aww. an audience with the Lord. We <sighs> really must go. Uh... It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyway. I should go with Someone him. Tell him. I to feel leave like I alone. need to. Fine. If that's what's required of me. I feel like I have to. Very well then. I'm trying to be responsible. I think Ethan's trying to be responsible. It's all right, guys. I'll be back. I'm sorry. I really wanted them to to to, to hang out longer, but he's the Lord now, and he's gotta gotta do his lordly things. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrod is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Oh, great. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Ah, uh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna have Ethan do. Oh, this is tough. 
it's, it's... Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still I'll a I'll shake lost. his hand. I'll shake his hand. Pleasant trees. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Alright, well I see where this is gonna go. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. Me no likey. Oh, bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody abbot. He's already angry. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody Forrester. I'm not gonna say anything. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. You're losing control of this. That's, That's enough. enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Garrett? Came the King's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. How do you answer for your men? And you are the... Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Oh, soldiers you did not. Type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my man? Oh, you did I know not. He's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment, and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Mm. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Thank you, Alyssa. Thanks, Mom. Lady Forrester. Hi. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. Nice. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. I'm then sorry, we'll are you still talking? Word is law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a craven. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I don't know what I did. Did I do defiance or diplomacy? I was, I was kind of mixing it up. Son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Okay, that's you good. You're brave, my son. Good. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I think Ethan did okay. I think he did okay, considering. No, I mean that's it's it's really stressful, and like I'm almost like twice his age. Maybe not quite. Your sister can but... help us. <laughs> Stressful. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. 
and Lady Marjorie's betrothal Near to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Okay, so we're Mira now. I'm trying to remember which one Mira is. If you guys can remind me again. Or I can just go in the codex real quick. Mira was... Uh, Lisa... Asher... Mira... Eldest... Oh, the eldest daughter, of course. Yes. Handmaiden to Mar Marjorie Tyrell... Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, the oldest daughter. Look at the cool brazier. Yeesh. So far I'm really liking the Forester family a lot. They're they're a pretty awesome bunch. Letter from mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh, I can't click on any of these things. Doggone it, you stupid door. How dare you, Story, advance? One moment. How dare you advance on me, Story? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, milady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, milady. One thing. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. One thing that, that does frustrate me a lot with Telltale Games is that um, it's very hard to guess what objects advance the story um because it and it had it's not just this game it's many other telltale games in the past where you know there's different objects that you can look at and there's different things that you can see and it's not always it's very easy to skip things just because you didn't know that such and such an object was going to advance the story so I'm a little peeved at that and I was like oh, I really wanted to check some of the other objects out and apparently with the way that the uh, with the way the chat is blowing up, apparently I made a mistake. I don't think that was a mistake, guys. It's 
it's not easy to know exactly what order you should be clicking on things because I, in my opinion I don't think it's obvious enough um, so uh, yeah I think that's a little disappointing um, I don't know what Telltale could do to make it more obvious like if you click this because right now it's just it's just trial and error, I think. So, um, um, what can you do? Some yeah. So, um, <sighs> okay. So I'm sorry that I didn't go and check some of the other things out. I wanted to, I really did, but um, but uh, it's a flaw of the game. I think it just it just exemplifies the the flaw in the the game if you really are trying to be thorough. So. Anyway, um, Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. She's pretty, Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. She's a redhead. I She's feel pretty. Your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. <laughs> You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Feel one thing and say another. Good luck. Okay. Oh boy. You can do this. Oh, so much pressure. So much pressure. Oh wait, is this Oh. It's oh, Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Tyrion. Hey. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Neil, I guess. Your Grace. The Queen is pleased. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. So far, so good. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. 
He's not here, is he? She is. House Forester's loyalty to the Crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Clever. Thank you, Tyrion. Clever. Perhaps too clever for her own good. Your the girl did say the loyalty her. was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Mm-hmm. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Roos Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. And proved his loyalty to the Crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. <laughs> I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Hmm. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. I did avoid the question. Delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find I it I did quick. my opinion. My opinion is I'm not judging her. That's Loyalty not... can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king... That must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. I won't be conflicted. Go on. I won't be conflicted. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. Mm, That's I love a coward's answer. answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. I'm sorry, honey. Who do you choose? Your mom? 